Hi everyone, it's Vala from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to a few questions I've had about having multiple respawns on other playable units and vehicles as opposed to having just one respawn on one playable unit. So firstly I'll show you how it works and then we'll go through how it's achieved. So what I have is myself as the playable unit, there's another uh, unit down there which is AI, but you can make that a playable unit so another player can occupy that spot. And here we have an armored fighting vehicle. Okay, so each of these now are respawns. In addition to that, you'll see that on the map, there's a marker that says HQ section for the commander of the mission that you're playing. And you'll see that after a period of 30 seconds or so, the marker for HQ section will move to the position of this player. And we'll just wait a second and it'll work, trust me. We're getting there, we're getting there. There we go, you see the marker has moved. Now if I go to respawn, I'll just respawn. It'll give me a respawn counter and it will give me the option to select HQ section, the other playable unit or the armored fighting vehicle. So we're gonna uh, respawn at the armored fighting vehicle and then we'll see, you see we're spawned at the AFV and respawn again. This time I'm going to select the AI unit and we have spawned right next to him. Uh, I will respawn again to show you something else. So we're going to spawn at the AFV. I'm going to get into this thing and drive it. And again, you'll see that the marker for the AFV has moved. And it will move every 30 seconds to show players where on the map the respawn position is, and they can respawn on it um, after they get taken out. So again, you'll see that this the marker will move after 30 seconds to the position that the AFV is in. Get there shortly there we go it's also uh, moving the HQ section marker because that is the marker attached to my playable unit so basically by doing this you can have uh, movable respawn positions on vehicles and other players and uh, it works really well for multiplayer uh, this does not work very well in well it doesn't work in single player because there's no respawns so um, you need to save and test this in multiplayer. Now I'll show you how to do it. Okay, the first thing we need is a playable unit and this is gonna be my first respawn position. This actual player will be the uh, anchor for the marker for that respawn position. So we need to give this player a variable name and I've just called him OC for Officer Commanding. Uh, I have placed a marshal and again I've given that a variable name of AFV you can give the variable name to that item using whatever name you like and I've given this dude here the variable name of Miller I've also placed three markers on the map okay so these are the markers that are going to appear when the uh, unit that is the respawn moves these markers will move to the position of that object every 30 seconds. So we need to firstly have a look at this first marker. Now I've given this variable name of respawn west and a text name of HQ section. So you can call in the text the position whatever you like, but you do need to use respawn underscore west as the variable name for this marker. Uh, this marker here, I've renamed that or given it the variable name respawn underscore west underscore two. And a text name, again, I've called him Miller, but you can call him whatever you like. And in this one, I have used the variable name of respawn underscore west three and a text name of AFV. They are all required. Now, you can call, as I said, 
the objects, whatever you like, but you do need to use respawn underscore west underscore and then a number. So this is the first one, this is the second respawn position, and this is the third respawn position. So they're the only things you need to place on the map for this to work. There are some simple SQF scripts that I will now show you, and I'll show you how they work and what they mean. Firstly, let's have a look inside the mission folder. So you definitely need to save this mission first before you do any of this, and then you can go to the folder. And how you do that is quite simple. You go to scenario, then down to open scenario folder, and it will open the scenario folder for you. The first file we need is init.sqf. And if you don't know how to create folders in here or files in here, right click, go to new text document and then call it whatever you like. And you need to go to the end and rename that to sqf. And it'll ask you if you want to change it and you just say yes. So that's now an SQF file that will be recognized by Armour 3. So we don't want that, so I'm going to get rid of that. So inside the init.sqf, we have, no, you don't have to worry about that. We have execvm respawn marker.sqf, respawn marker 2, and respawn marker 3. Now, if we have a look inside that folder, we'll see we have init.sqf. Uh, the mission.sqm you don't need to worry about, respawn marker or respawn mkr and then mkr2 and mkr3. So let's have a look inside the respawn marker 1. Now this little code will basically tell the multiplayer server to set the marker pos of respawn west and to get the position of the variable oc and this will activate every 30 seconds. Now, if you remember, we gave the map marker the variable name of respawn west, and the player that we want to have attached to that with the variable name of OC. Now, in respawn marker uh, two, we have respawn west underscore two, which was the variable name of the map marker. And we have the variable name of Miller, which is the player to which this marker will be attached. And likewise, we have respawn underscore West 3 and the variable name of the armored fighting vehicle that will be attached to as AFV. So you need all of these three folders or files, sorry, inside this folder for this to work, as you can see here. Okay. Uh, I will include this as a downloadable mission so that you guys can grab it. No mods are required except for uh, Eden Enhanced. If you are a mission maker and you're not using Eden Enhanced, then you need to start using it today. Okay, so we'll go back to the mission. And again, I'll just recap. It's quite simple. Uh, we've got our playable unit here. We've got another object here which can also be a playable unit and we've got another object here which is a vehicle we've got the markers that have the variable names for respawn west respawn west underscore two respawn west underscore three and the scripts then attach them to the variable names of afv miller and oc and that's pretty much how it works um, if you wanted to add another one, so for example, we wanted to add a, uh, a tank to be our, uh, another respawn point. I'm just going to remove the crew so they don't drive anywhere. I'm going to give that the variable name of tank. And I'm going to go to markers, blue for armor. And I'm going to give that the variable name of respawn underscore west underscore four. So that is now the fourth respawn position. And of course, inside the uh, folder, let's go back to the folder. 
Um, what I'll do is I'll open this one. I'll control A, control C to copy all of that. I'll go back to the folder. I will then go to new text document and I'll call that respawn MKR4 and SQF. And yes, I want to change it. I'll go into there. I will paste all of that. And remember, I've called that marker respawn underscore west underscore four. So I'll change that to four. And the variable name of the tank is tank. And I will save that. So now in the mission, you will have an additional respawn position. And if this gets driven or moved around, that marker for that will move and I'll just give that a text name so we can see it on the map. And there we go. Now, also for this to work, we need to go to Attributes, Multiplayer, and we need to select, because this will be disabled, we need to select Respawn on Custom Position. We need to select uh, the Select Respawn Position needs to be ticked and Show Respawn Counter. And then you need to set a respawn delay here because if you don't set a delay, it will randomly spawn you at any one of those respawns. So if we've got a counter and we can select the respawn position, we can then select the position that we want to go to. I'll just show you that that final one that I've added does work. So back in the mission and now we have an additional respawn position. And if we go to continue, it will then ask us to select the respawn position. So I'm gonna respawn at the tank. And there I have respawned at the tank. And again, if I get in and drive this, the respawn position and the respawn marker, respawn, respawn position marker on the map will also move with the tank. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next video.